What's up guys, this is Crook for Money. This is going to be the first episode in my scripting series. And the first thing we're going to tackle is making a working pay and spray. If you don't know, in MTA, they disable all the scripts or take them out or whatever, so even the pay and sprays don't work. So we're going to try to make a working pay and spray. And to start off, obviously going to be on fixed vehicle, because that's what the pay and sprays function is going to be, is to fix the vehicle. And on the wiki, which we're always going to be using, they always have these examples, which you can pretty much use by yourself. But of course, you know, if we use this uh, fixed vehicle script, then it's just going to fix all the vehicles. And we don't want all the vehicles to be fixed, we want them to be fixed in a fixed location, which is the pay and spray, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We just, we don't want this to fix like everything that's on the map, so we're going to be using that. Um, of course, I should probably show you guys how this works, since this is the first episode and all that. Alright, so I actually have a <laughs> DYOM. Santa and, or MTA and the MTA server as shortcuts on this, but I always end up having to use this anyway because I have to go to the folder, so usually I just go to properties and then open file location, then that'll take me to this, and then that's where you can see your multi-theft auto, then you go to server, and then that's where you find your server, which you're going to be using, so I'm just going to open that right now. And then you just wait for that to load and do all the things. You can see CTKRP. It's my server name. Um, probably should have went over that. Um, how to do that. Let's go over it real quickly, I guess. Just, you know, things. Um, you go into your deathmatch folder. And then you find your MTA server, which is the config file. Open that up. And then where it says server name right here, you just, in between these things, you just put whatever name that you want. Then that'll be what your server name is called. And in this server config at the very bottom, this is where we have all of our resources that we put in the folder um, in the game that start up. So all of these start up. Um, and then all the ones with these little bracket things. All of these are the ones that don't spawn, or a uh, start up, so all of these don't start. Um, only the ones above it, which are admin and all these other crazy things that I have. I did quite a few things, mostly uh, just other people's scripts that I took off of websites and stuff, so just to like, figure out scripting and all that. Alright, so... Um, so you can see here now, it says um, loading of resource pay and spray failed because I haven't even started the script for it, of course. We're going to be doing that in this video. Um, but I have like a bunch of scripts and stuff, but uh, you got to wait till all this loads up and all that. And then you can actually, <clears throat> you can actually, uh, use the scripts, which are labeled as resources. So, uh, yeah, something happened to my player spawn as well. I don't, I don't know. Weird stuff always happens. Server started, congratulations, blah blah blah. And now we go into the thing, which, uh... Alright, I'm on display capture, that's good. So now we would go into the game, MTA. It's gonna take <clears throat> take a while as well. The only reason why I don't have all this set up already is because I just want to show you guys the steps of how you would go about doing all of this. Um, I was gonna leave that out, but it's kind of a important thing if you want to get into scripting, or if you're just curious about how all of this works. It's probably a good idea to kind of start out and uh, show you guys how everything works to begin with, rather than explaining it later, which isn't really helpful. So 
So now that that's doing the thing, I have to go over here all the time for some reason. Uh, apparently it didn't start. That's a first. Usually when it says that it actually does start, but uh, it actually didn't start that time. Alright, so while we're messing with that, I guess... Um, I could show you guys. Alright, so how we're in the deathmatch folder. This is the deathmatch folder where we had the config file and all that. If we go into the resources file, this is where all our resources are. So these are all the scripts that we create or already have access to. Um, so... I made this player spawn thing. I kind of just like took this from someone else and it happened to have like the same everything that I needed. So it, it all worked out. But uh, you can see the really short script on spawning your character in the very beginning on player join, spawn, all that. Um, how this script actually works though is you have to have a Lua file and then a meta file, which uh, you put the Lua file in and since spawning is a server type, um, then you would make the type server and then spawn Lua and that's basically like how it would go. Um, this part right here, I don't even need this. I don't know why I added this. I think it's just because I took it from uh, some other dude who made the spawn thing. I, I don't know. I was probably like still really, really new when I added that for like no reason. But uh, that, that little line at the bottom had like no purpose. I'll just keep it anyway just because why not? So now we open up MTA after it took several years and now that we have our server open and it's running, we can go here to local and open up the server and uh, Yeah, if you guys want like a running server though, you have to like go to a website like if you want it over the internet as of right now, the server is just running through this PC, so... Okay. That's interesting. I'm having all kinds of issues all of a sudden. There we go. So I already have like a bunch of scripts already running because I already have like... Um, some scripts that I added to auto start, so... Stuff like uh, save system, so I don't have to log in to my account all the time, and then... Which gives me access to the admin panel. I just want to be able to load in and already have that accessible to me. Without having to log in every single time I restart uh, MTA. So, as you can see, I already have like this working. So it's from my last video. And I added this cop right here, which doesn't do anything, he has no purpose. I also added this other script to where I can actually like click on things, but he's not interactable. I haven't really like looked into how to make things interactable, so no idea how that would work, but uh... Okay, that's turned off, that's good. It's uh... Alright, I wasn't even sure if you could turn the music off because, uh... I think in some servers, like, that's not even an option or something, I don't know. So, we're gonna drive over to Pay and Spray for no reason. Other than the show, I guess. Um... That the pain spray has no, like, it doesn't work or anything like that. It isn't even open, it's just like closed with the... That's interesting. I didn't know that they just like closed the pain spray, but apparently that's a thing. So... What we're gonna do is we're going to... Slash editor, wait, no, we have to slash start editor. Which is going to let us go into the map editor, which we're going to need to create 
a realistic pain spray. I mean, I could just like, I could literally just, if I wanted to always have this issue, it's like, I wanna, I'm running this locally. How do I have network trouble? I don't get it. I don't even need the internet. What's going on? There we go. All right, so like realistically, like if I created a pain spray, I could create a pain spray anywhere. I could like create a pain spray on this customer parking lot or like in the middle of the street or like some random location. But if we want like a realistic pain spray, then we need to actually make it function inside the pain spray. So first of all, we're going to have to get rid of this door. So if we go to remove uh, world object remover, then we can click on it and then delete. So now that is gone. Actually, we can control Z and put it back because I actually need to, I think I can copy it. All right, it's been cloned. So yeah, control C, copy it, and then delete it. Don't want it anymore. And then control V. Okay, it, what the, okay, what? Anyways, can I move this? That's, I don't know if I can actually even move it. I'm gonna try to skip past all the parts where I just like don't know what I'm doing by the way. So hopefully it's a little more entertaining. Um, there is a way to move this, but all right, you can move it that way. I want to move it up though. That's not right. I think I actually put this here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like I put this here. Because I'm pretty sure there's not a door originally. Alright, so... 